You're listening to episode 61 of On Purpose with Alex Beaton. In this episode, I talk to you about the ins and outs of the last week of my life, about launching Project Storyline for the very first time, about all of the synchronicities, about the power in choosing to see things in your business in a particular way, the power of bringing together all of the puzzle pieces of problem solving, seeing every problem as an opportunity, and trusting in the process. I love this episode. I think you're going to absolutely adore it. Enjoy. Do you ever feel like you're trying to balance it all? Nourishing your health while growing your business and living a life well lived? And no matter how hard you try, sometimes you slip from purpose driven into autopilot. Take a deep breath, relax, and let's get you back to where you belong on purpose. Hey friends. So I have to start this off by just saying how freaking cool is it that I get to chat with you guys. I know that there are so many of you who listen to this podcast on a weekly basis. And I just think it's so fun that there are now multiple levels of my brand. And I never created this podcast for that. But I'm now realizing as I'm going through this launch that there's just like multiple levels of Alex and multiple levels of access that you get. And listening to me on the podcast is one of the most intimate And one of the places where I really get to share like, you know, what's really been happening behind the scenes. And so I just want to take a moment to just be in gratitude for the fact that you're here, that you're listening. I feel like if you're a podcast listener, you are someone who really connects to me. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that the message is resonating with you and that you're enjoying the content. And so I just want to take a moment to let you know that I am grateful for you because this is so much fun for me to do. So It wouldn't be that much fun if no one was listening. So thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Having said that, I know we have a ton of new people this week in particular. I think it's something ridiculous. Like over the last two weeks, I've gotten something like 2000 new followers on Instagram. Uh, So I assume that many of you guys have transferred over here onto the podcast. If this is the first podcast that you're listening to, or if you've only recently found me over the last few weeks, I just want to say hello Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this journey. And I'm excited that you're here. I'm excited that we've attracted more like-minded people. And it's an honor to have you as part of our crew. Okay, so this week, I have so much to talk to you guys about. As you know, if you're listening to this live, so the live date of this for future reference for anyone who's like, when did this happen? It's May 12th today as I'm recording this. This will go live on May 13th, 2019. And today marks the one week since we launched Double Down in Your DMs version 2019. So this is the second time that I've launched Double Down in Your DMs. For those of you who maybe have been living under a rock, Double Down in Your DMs is a five-day Instagram story engagement challenge. And there are many reasons why I created it. And I want to walk you through all of them because it's both strategic and fun and self-expressive. And that's kind of how I look at business. Business should be something where you get to creatively express yourself and where you get to choose to do things that are fun for you. And that's really what I want to promote here on the podcast. So I want to walk you through really the whole decision-making process behind everything. So... I, it has really been frustrating me lately. Laura and I have been trying to, if you've been listening to the podcast, you'll know this. Like we have been trying for almost an entire year to get Gram Slam to a a really healthy, happy, evergreen place, right? So for those of you who don't know, I feel like I need to like update everyone. This is kind of crazy because I know we have a lot of new listeners. So my name is Alex Beaton and I have an online business and my business recently grew to the stage where I was able to hire my best friend, Laura, which is awesome. So there's now two of us. She is officially the operations manager within the business. And the two of us are like a dream team, hashtag dream team. (laughs) And people tell us this online all the time, which even more just goes to show how awesome we are together. Anyway, so So Laura and I have been working together for about a year now. And ever since she joined my team, All I have wanted to do was get my big seller, which is called Gram Slam. It's an online course all about Instagram stories. I've been trying to get it to a stage where it is just kind of like making money in the background um, and just kind of, you know, doing that 
hashtag passive income thing. <laughs> so if you've been listening to the podcast, I've been working on this literally for the since June of last year. That's when Laura and I started working together. And I share this with you because it really just goes to show, you know, business is not just something where like all of the puzzle pieces click into place and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm a genius. No, like it's literally banging yourself, your head against a wall over and over and over and over again, trying to figure out how do I make this work? How do I make this work? How do I make this work? And so every single time we like, you know, go all in on going evergreen, it just doesn't work out the way that we want it to work. We're either breaking even or we're only making a little bit of money or we're losing money. And it's just like not been profitable yet. Right. And so every single time we, we try it, we go all in and we're like, okay, we've got a few months to like really try. It just doesn't take off the way that we want it to take off. Right. And so what ends up happening is that we have to kind of go back to the drawing board and be like, okay, it's time to launch. Like we haven't figured it out yet. We're not there yet. We need to launch. Now, a really important thing to keep in mind is that this is not a reflection of the product. The product is excellent. Every single person who takes it is impressed by it. I get so many emails of thanks. I have people's teams messaging me being like, we've learned so much about Instagram stories because of you. Like the product itself is doing its job and the product itself is a success. And so that is not the piece of the puzzle that's missing for us. The piece of the puzzle that's missing for us is the strategy behind how do we kind of turn this into a machine where we put money into Facebook ads and then it basically brings back uh, a profit and a very, very, very healthy profit because that's the goal. So we've been struggling with this for a year and it's just different things just keep kind of hitting the mark and we can do an entire episode on like the analytics behind it. And maybe one day I will. Maybe one day when I figure this all out, I'll be able to be like, hey, (laughs) this is this is what we went through to get here. I think that'd be a great episode. But alas, we're not there yet. And so this time when we were going to relaunch something, I I spoke to Laura and I was like, dude, like, I feel like every time we start building momentum with the Gram Slam Evergreen thing, we just hit this wall of like, we need to make money. We need to launch something and let's launch whatever, right? Let's let's launch Gram Slam. Let's launch the School of Killer Impressions. Let's launch whatever's next. Cool. But every single time we go to do that, we really are hoping that by that time that the launch comes around, that it's, it's, you know, Gram Slam is up and it's running and it's full-time passive income. And it's just not. And so wouldn't it be cool, Laura, if we did something that was a subscription service where every month people had to pay a certain amount of money, which basically means that you're creating a monthly revenue stream for yourself. Now, bear in mind, I have had a membership site before called the Spark Lounge, and I absolutely loved it, but it was never worth the, like the amount of money that people were paying for it just wasn't worth the amount of energy that I was putting into it. So I ended up stopping it right? So going back into this membership site idea was actually quite scary for me. And when I started really brainstorming, you know, like what could this membership site be? I immediately thought back to double down on your DMs. So I have my my product called Gram Slam. Like I said, that's an online course teaching people everything they need to know about using Instagram stories to build your brand, how to decorate them, how to edit them, how to use the app, how to come up with good ideas of what to post. Like all of that jazz is in Gram Slam. There's like tutorials. It's really in depth. That's a $200 product, right? People buy it online. It gets delivered straight to them. Awesome. So there's Gram Slam. Now, the first time we launched Gram Slam, we launched it with um, a freebie and it was basically just four videos showing you how to do different things on Instagram stories. And it was like, you know, four Instagram stories, tips, tricks and hacks, I think is what I called it. And that did really well. But the second time in between the first and second time that we launched Gram Slam, we realized that we needed to have a freebie that was more evergreen friendly, that was more passive income friendly, that didn't rely so heavily on like being live in that very moment. So that's why we came up with double down on your DMs. We're like, this might be something that we could do live as a challenge. And then maybe like later down the line, turn it into something that's evergreen. So because because of oh, so many factors, guys, so many factors that went into this, we just decided that's what we were going to do. We ended up running this five-day challenge called Double Down on Your DMs. And the whole concept behind it was, I'm going to give you one Instagram story prompt every single day. And by showing up better at a high quality 
at a, at a better, higher quality on Instagram stories, you will get more engagement, more responses, which to me means more DMs. We all want more DMs. When you wake up in the morning and you see that you have like six new DMs, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, my ideal clients are getting in touch with me. Like this is good. It means positive things for your business and your brand when you wake up and people want to talk to you, right? Like to me, that's success. <laughs> so it's like, okay, let's make this five day challenge where we give five prompts. Let's see how it goes. We run this for the first time, I believe in October, 2018. It was a huge success. I remember the week that it happened. I was, I was completely unprepared for the virality of it. It, it blew me out of the water. I had never had such a successful launch before in terms of the amount of engagement and the amount of attention. And we, it was just on fire. And then we launched Gram Slam afterwards. Like, so basically guys, the way that, that I run my business when it comes to marketing my products is that I have a freebie and then I offer something. I do that is because the freebie delivers value. It builds momentum. It helps people get to know, like, and trust me. And then when I go to ask the sale, it's way less um, obtrusive because people already know me. They've already been seeing me for the past week, like nonstop delivering free value. So that's really the reason behind the freebie. So in this case, double down on your DMs was the five day freebie, right? So fast forward to this year, I have this idea. I'm like, what could it be that we're going to offer, you know, this monthly subscription fee for? And see, this is how things happen, guys. Like things coincide, right? So after that double down on your DMs happened in 2018, I, I, I was kind of awakened to the fact that people love being told what to do. That's why that challenge went viral is because people were like, oh, I don't have to think about what to post. And I really do want to get better at Instagram stories. So I'm going to sign up for this. And they did. And they did it. And they they got so many results because of it. So number one, I realized people love being told what to do. Number two, I realized that we were getting so many results from people in this double down on your DMs challenge. And when I looked back at, you know, who was taking the challenge, a lot of our Gram Slam students, like existing Gram Slam students were taking double down on your DMs. And it made me realize that even though people had taken Gram Slam, they had learned all of my tips, tricks, and hints. They had figured out like exactly what to post, what their brand was about. They knew everything like in their mind, like they, they understood all of the concepts, but they weren't implementing. They weren't showing up consistently. They weren't following through with everything that they had learned. And so with Double Down on Your DMs, it's like they were showing up and they were able to implement those things because they had someone telling them exactly what to do. So it was through, number one, the frustration of, you know, every time that we get going with this evergreen thing and every time that we're so, 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 so close, we have to like pause and go into launch mode. So we never have like the full amount of time that we need in order to really get this thing off the ground and have passive income coming from Gram Slam. So that was problem number one. Problem number two was people who are taking Gram Slam are learning things and it's, you know, it's fantastic because they're able to understand how to use Instagram stories, understand more about their brand and how they want to put themselves out there, but they're still finding resistance around actually showing up consistently. That's a huge problem. It's like, I can teach you everything you need to know, but if you're not going to go and do it, then we have a big issue, right? So those were like the two big problems that I saw within my business. And suddenly I realized, wouldn't it be cool if every day people got a new Instagram story prompt for me? And that's how the idea was born. It was born from these two problems within my business. Again, it's all about like looking at your situation and creatively being like, what are the problems in my business and what can they point towards as a solution? And it's about using your creativity within your business. So I went ahead, I came up with this idea. I'm like, yes, project storyline. We, we, I didn't, uh, I didn't come up with that name. This amazing copywriter came up with that name, but I love the name, the whole concept of like the storyline where we're not just focusing on individual story days. We're focused on like the big picture storyline of your brand and how you're putting yourself out there and how people are remembering you, which then led me to creating this, you know, formula, which I've always used, but had never really put like written out. So I created this, this strategic creative formula um, behind how, like what kind of content should you be posting if you really want to build a relationship with your followers? That actually became like, you know, it's been such a journey for me in the creation of Project Storyline with every single product that I come out with or that anyone comes out with. You should know, number one, who is my ideal client? Number two, what is the problem that I'm solving? Number three, what is the transformation that I'm creating? Because if you don't know those things, then you're screwed. <laughs> 
right? So those were like the three things that I've really been grappling with and that I've been trying to tackle because there are so many problems that you could focus on. But if you focus on all the problems, you're going to connect with no one. So you really need to like narrow it down. And what I narrowed down to was the problem is people have followers, but they don't have a a real relationship with those followers. If you stopped and asked any of those followers who you are, they have no clue who you are. They might just be following you because maybe you followed them or maybe one day they they stumbled upon you and then they they did you didn't hold their attention. I think something I'm really good at is creating content that holds people's attention and that tells a long-term story. Like that's really my zone of genius. I know how to create content and I know how to storytell. That's why you can put me on any platform. You can put me on YouTube, you can put me on Periscope, you can put me on Snapchat, you can put me on podcasting. Like I am learning how to weave and tell my story so that you're not just listening to one episode, you're listening to multiple episodes because they all weave in and out of each other and it becomes more enjoyable that way to follow along the journey. And so I wanted to create something that would help people really understand all you have to do is show up. I'm telling you exactly what to post. I've already thought through the strategic part of it. I already know what types of things you need to be saying in order to elicit the response that you want to elicit from your followers. Now you just need to show up consistently. Now you can focus on growing your business and getting profitable and hiring that team member. Or maybe you've already done all of those things and you're at an even higher level. Awesome. But what I know is that you guys are so super busy. This is another thing that my ideal clients all have in common. They are so busy with their lives and with their businesses that stopping to sit down and brainstorm about topic ideas just never seems to happen. It's like always at the bottom of the priority list. It's on their list but it's at the bottom. So they end up showing up on Instagram stories haphazardly. They end up showing up half-heartedly. They end up showing up randomly. And it's just not effective. You're not building a real relationship with your audience when you show up like that. Right? So it's like, I finally, I figured out like, okay, this is the problem that people are having. The transformation that they want is they want to be someone who can confidently be like, oh, I want to launch this. And I know people are going to be excited. Oh, like I need help or support with this. And I know that my, my followers will be there to help me. It's, it's about like getting to a place where your followers are actually like your friends and like they support you and they know what's going on in your business and in your brand. And the thing is, there's so many different levels of this, right? You can choose to do this in a way that feels good for you. You don't have to share every single piece of your journey, but there's still a way to do it in which it can feel good to you and in which you can build that relationship with people. I think I think most business owners are terrified of putting themselves out there, but they don't realize that a little bit of vulnerability can go a very long way, especially when it comes to profitability. It's a long-term strategy, 100%. Like, I'm not going to tell you, yo, start Project Storyline and follow every single day's prompt. And in one week, you're going to have this amazing relationship with your followers. No, like, that's not how it happens. It's like any relationship in life, even if I look at me and Nick, like, our relationship has grown and developed and strengthened over the years. And that's like every relationship, right? So, it, but what it's about, it's about creating that as a lifestyle and learning how to show up and have that confidence. And you would be so amazed at the transformation that happens when you start telling your stories. Because not only are you telling them your story, it's also like you are reinstating it to yourself and reinforcing those things to yourself, which only builds and strengthens your business and your mindset. So to me, like this goes so far beyond just like, oh, here's some, uh, here's a few Instagram story prompts. Like it's so much more about like embodying who you are and and what your business is all about. So this is something that is close to my heart in so many levels. I feel like I've hit the jackpot of something that like lights my soul up, something I feel incredibly proud to to be creating, something that I really believe is going to completely change the game for the people who sign up for it. And like this was kind of an accident, like I didn't plan this. Like a year ago, I wasn't thinking, oh, I really want to have a membership site. It was really out of necessity that this came about. And of course, I don't know how it's going to end up. But the the point that I'm trying to make here is that you always trust the cookie crumbs, even if the cookie crumbs look bad. So I'm, I'm there and I'm trying to get Gram Slam to be at this passive income level and it's not working out. I could have sat there and cried and been like, I'm a failure. I know nothing. What's wrong with me? Why is this taking so long? blah, 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 blah. Or I can be like, cool, it's not working. Let's like, how can I give myself more time so that I can make it work? 
And then I have the idea, oh, well, if you had a membership site, then you could have the membership site. It would be bringing in monthly income and you could spend time working on Gram Slam as a like long-term behind the scenes passive income stream. And because of that, I then created Project Storyline, which has then led me to this, this new place of just feeling so in alignment with everything in my business and life. Like it's, it's such a beautiful experience for me. And simultaneously, like nothing is going really perfectly or right. Uh, I have so many stories about how this launch went wrong. <laughs> but the important part within the journey is to look back and be like, well, what went right? And how can we fix this next time? And so I don't know, man, like this has been a, a, a difficult week in terms of not everything has gone the way that I would have liked it to or the way that Laura would have liked it to. <laughs> but I feel like I'm just in such a good place. I feel so confident with Project Storyline and I'm so excited to see where this is going to go. And it's just, it's, ah, I just, I feel so like high vibe is the only way that I can describe it. And also like the ease with which this thing was born in terms of, I didn't overthink it. I didn't over visualize it. I wasn't like, I haven't, I don't even, I haven't even sat down and figured out like, so many things that I normally obsess over, you know, and it's just been kind of like, yes, this is my next step. This is what I'm moving towards. And I trust it's going to happen and it feels right. And I'm, I'm just like, I don't know, man, there's something about just deciding and being like, yep, this is it. I'm not going to be anxious about this. I'm not going to go back and forth on it. I'm just going to make a decision and move forward and kind of trust the process. So yeah, I'm feeling really good about Project Storyline. And the day it came out, it came out on Friday. Within 24 hours, we had sold 100 seats already. And to me, that was just, it it, it was just so lovely that it just came with such ease. Like people understand the concept. People are on board. People need it. It's solving a problem. And then the exact same day that I launched Project Storyline, Logic's new album launched um, Kylie Jenner launched Kylie Skin. Buju Banton released his first single since being in prison. Like a lot of things happened on that particular day. Um, Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber came out with a new song. I believe they came out with it on Thursday, but it it came out for the first time on Spotify on Friday. So there was just like a lot of things launching on that same Friday. And I don't know why it just felt like the universe just patting me on the back being like, th- what you just created is big. And I just feel that. Like I just feel like Project Storyline is big. And it feels like a really long-term journey for me that I'm only now beginning. And I'm just really, really excited. So yeah, so that's where I'm at with the launch. That's where I'm at with the project storyline. And there are a few other things that I wanted to share with you guys today in terms of self-care. So self-care is super important whenever you're going through any launch. I'm so proud of myself because I believe that this is the launch in which I've remained the most calm, the least anxious, the least stressed. Normally, whenever I'm going through a launch, there's just like, no matter what, there's anxiety there. And I have to go running every single day. And I will be completely honest with you. I've not worked out in weeks, Eh, maybe like two and a half weeks or something. And that's unheard of. Like normally during a launch, I have to work out because there's so much anxiety, just like streaming through my body and I feel so freaking calm. It is unbelievable. (laughs) And it's great. Even Nick commented, he was like, dude, like this has been the least stressful launch. He's like, that's not to say things have have gone perfectly because they haven't, but like you've handled everything with such ease. And I really feel that and I can really honor myself for that. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. So that's one thing. Another thing is really listening to your body. On Saturday, I was supposed to go live at 7 p.m., to hang out with everyone in the Facebook group, to make a few announcements. And lives are very important during a launch. And they are not something that I would ever want to miss, if I'm being quite honest with you. Um, And what ended up happening was Saturday came around and at about 3 p.m. I got a migraine and it was just horrible. And I had to like lay in bed and wear my eye mask because it's it's agitated by the light and by sound and by movement. So it's like you have to lay in a dark room, put your eye mask on, listen to to nothing and just be still. <laughs> and when you are in the middle of a launch, that may just be one of the most incredibly frustrating things to have to do because especially when you have something like a live planned, you know, I, like I planned for this live. I told everyone about it in the morning. Like 
I was ready. And my body was just like, nope, it's not happening. And so just want to remind you guys to listen to your body because the old Alex would have pushed through and she would have done it anyway, even if she had a migraine. And the new Alex is like, hell no, it ain't happening. (laughs) So yeah, so I decided to take the evening off. I sent out a message to everyone. I was like, I'm really sorry. It's not happening. I have a migraine and I really need to just rest. So I rested. And then I started to feel better at like 9 p.m., but I still wasn't 100% better, but I could at least listen to something. So I put my headphones on and I was like, dude, you know, wouldn't it be cool if someone came out with something that was specifically for listening to when you're wearing headphones? I don't know why I had this random thought. And then I just typed into Spotify headphones only. And I found this guy. I don't know how to say his name. I think it's Linoski or Linoski, L-I-N-O-S-K-I-I-I. And he's a rapper. And I didn't know what it was. I just started playing the music. And man, I could not stop. I listened to his entire album, just like laying down in bed, headphones on. And I just listened to his album from front to back. And I fell in love with him. And I fell in love with him because he's incredibly talented. And yet he really doesn't have like a large following. He's not really big on social media. Don't get me wrong. Like he has a following and he, you can tell that he has built, he's created steam for himself and he's, he's definitely, you know, he's put out multiple albums. Like there's a lot for him to be proud of. By the way, Jocelyn just joined Project Storyline. Jocelyn, you are getting a special shout out here on the podcast. Welcome to Project Storyline. I'm so proud of you for investing in yourself and for prioritizing your relationship with your followers. I can't wait to see what happens for you. Hopefully you commit for at least the next three months. I know you can cancel at any time, but I'm daring you to really stick with it for three months and see what changes for you over those first three months. Okay, back to what I was saying. Linoski, he his lyrics are fantastic. He's a storyteller. Like it's less about like the rhythm and the beats, although those are really good too. It's more to do with what he's saying and the content of what he's saying and what's behind his words and the way that he uses language is beautiful. And it was just so amazing to hear this man really not care about the followers or the this or the that and really just be honest and vulnerable and he's so dedicated and committed to his craft that like it never matters if he makes it or if he makes money from it. And there's something so beautiful about that. And there's something behind that, that as business owners and, you know, especially for me, the kind, I know all business owners are different, but for me, the kind of business owner that I am is like, I'm a creative soul and I'm an artist and I'm very sensitive. And like, I always want my products to be a reflection of me. And so there was something just so beautiful about that. And listening to that after having gone through double down in your DMs, It just felt like a pat on the back from life being like, yo, like you're on the right track. You're creating something that beyond how much money you make is making such an impact. Guys, I can't even tell you the amount of messages that I received from randomers just being like, dude, this has changed not just my Instagram stories. This has changed the way I feel about my business. And that's what I was telling you guys earlier. Like Project Storyline is so much more than just, oh, I'm going to help you with your Instagram stories. It goes so much deeper than that because when you show up and you tell these stories, you're, you're also telling them to yourself. Oh, it's just so freaking powerful. Anyway, so I'm listening to this and it just felt like life was just being like, yes, you're on the right track. And it doesn't matter how much money you make because everything that you're doing is so, so powerful. But simultaneously, you deserve to make money. And simultaneously, the more money you make, it's like this trusting feeling that the more money money I make, the more, the more influence I'm going to have. And I don't mean influence like as in followers, but influence over things that really matter to me. There's so many things that matter to me and, and so many causes that I want to help that sometimes I feel just like, you know, I just, I need a little bit more breathing room in my business in order to really make it happen. Like I can't focus on those things until my business gets to a really, really healthy point. And that's fine. Like I can wait and I can see the bigger picture, but I'm still excited about it, you know? And so I don't know, for me, listening to his album was just like, it was super therapeutic. And I love listening to his words. And I reached out to him on Instagram after and I was like, dude, I don't know why, but I searched for headphones only. I found your album. Your words are magnificent. You are such a talent. And I sent him this voice note on Instagram and he messaged me back and he was like, that voice note meant so much to me. Thank you so much. And we just had a really good exchange where I was like, listen, dude, if you ever need help with marketing or you need someone to brainstorm with, like hit me up. And that's another big part of this is, you know, sometimes I I genuinely want to help someone for free because I believe in them and because like, 
I don't know. I, I feel like finding him is just divine. And so, yeah, I reached out to him and we had a, a nice little chat, nice little back and forth conversation. He was like, if you're ever in LA, let me know. Like, you need to come and watch me perform. I was like, dude, that'd be awesome. Anyway. So yeah, check him out. Linoski, L-I-N-O-S-K-I-I-I. He's really freaking cool. Last thing I want to talk to you guys about, I have started every time that I launch, um, I've started this, this uh, routine where I invest in at least once a week massages. This would be something that I would think is like a little bit much on a regular basis. Don't get me wrong. I would love it. <laughs> but it's almost like during a launch, I need it. It's like a non-negotiable. And I'm starting to realize that there's such a beautiful thing about someone else touching your body and you being able to just be self-aware in that moment and connect with like, how are my muscles feeling? How is my body feeling? Especially as an entrepreneur, it's so easy to be so up in your head all the damn time. And massages have just been such a key for me, such a tool for me to really connect inwards and, and have a little bit more self-awareness. And to me, self-awareness is like a drug. I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm all about that life. So yes, this is everything. And also guys, I, I have so much coming up. So just so y'all know what to look forward to. I think Nick and I are going on a trip very soon to Tobago where the waters are crystal clear and Oh, I just can't wait. I think we're gonna have a great time. And actually we were invited there by a villa. A villa reached out to us. And they were like, Nick and Alex, Nick, we love your design work. You ooze creativity. Alex, we absolutely love your marketing skills and your bubbly personality. And we would love to host you guys in our villa. And we we're like, what? They they wanted to host us and 10 friends. They have, they have like a, a small villa for two and a big villa for 12. And basically our dates over the next month are crazy, which if you keep following me on Instagram stories, you're going to notice I'm going to be traveling a lot over the next few months. But so yeah, the only time that we can make it happen was like in the middle of a week. And most of our friends can't just like pick up and go on a little bit of a holiday in the middle of a week. <laughs> so it looks like it's just going to be the two of us, but I'm very excited for that. I'm also going to Necker Island at the end of May to hang out with all my mastermind buddies and get to hang out with Richard Branson again. I can't even believe that I can say that in a sentence. It's so freaking cool. So I'm really excited for that. I think, you know, guys, looking back at my business uh, journey, I can tell you right now that my business skyrocketed after I joined that mastermind. Like it is the most expensive investment I've ever made in my business and the most profitable. Like it, that's the thing about investing in your business. I think at first you feel so trepidatious about it. Is that a word? I don't know. You feel so uncertain about it. You're like, oh, should I spend this money? I don't know. Like even when, you know, when you're first getting started, like even for some of you, I'm sure you're listening to $30 a month with Project Storyline and you're like, why would I do that? <laughs> But the truth is like once you start investing in your business and you start making good investments, like you start to realize that every time you spend money on your business in like some kind of learning investment or like an experiential investment or whatever, it always comes back tenfold for me at least. And so, yeah, game changer. Can't wait for this mastermind in Ecker Island. I think it's going to be it's going to be such a full circle moment because we were supposed to have this mastermind, I believe, two years ago. And then the hurricane hits. And then everything was kind of postponed. And so we ended up having like multiple trips while we waited for like the final, the final experience in Necker Island. And so this is it. We're finally going. They've completely redone Necker Island because obviously everything was just ground zero. And so I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to be a game changer. And then I come back to Trinidad and we move house, which is insane. Like that's going to be a whole brand new chapter, which I'm really excited for. And then after that, I fly to England for my sister's wedding, which is happening in July. No, not July. End of June, which is happening in Italy. So I'm just so excited. I feel like the next few months are going to be pretty awesome. And I'm excited to take you guys along for the journey and keep you updated with the business along the way. I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this and if you got this far, please take five minutes to just open up the podcast app. It's that purple podcast app. And just go and leave me a review on iTunes. Reviews help so much. Subscribes help so much. Like if y'all enjoy this show and you haven't left a review, I'm almost offended. <laughs> Please go and leave a review. 
And then, of course, as y'all know, I always love to hear your biggest takeaways. Like, of course, I love to he- I love to see screenshots of when y'all have like listened to the to the episode. Like, I think that's great. But even more so when you actually share with me, like, what was your biggest takeaway? What was the thing you loved the most about this episode? That really helps put it into context. So. I definitely encourage you to share this on Instagram at Alex Beaton. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, if you are someone who wants to grow your following, and if you are someone who wants to deepen your relationship with your followers, and if you're someone who really understands the value that that will bring to your business over the long term, then I could not recommend Project Storyline any more than I currently do. Like, honestly, You can learn everything. Go check it out at projectstoryline.com. It's only $30 a month. You can cancel at any time. And it is my love child. So I would be honored to have you on board. And guys, it's not going to be open forever. Okay, so take advantage of this. Like, I don't even know what to call it. It's like the, the founding members. Come and be one of our founding members. Join at this $30 price. And I really think it's going to be a game changer for you. You will not regret it. I love y'all. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I just, I'm sending you good vibes. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, I would love for you to give me a shout out on your Instagram story or anywhere. Just letting me know what your biggest takeaway was. You guys have no idea how helpful and useful it is for me when you message me telling me what your aha moments were, telling me what it is that you took away from the podcast. It helps me understand what is most valuable to you and it helps me understand how I can be of the highest service to you. So if you could take two minutes to do that, I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to hear from you over on Instagram. You can find me at Alex Beaton and I will talk to you again very soon.